All right, let's welcome our cast tonight. Make some noise for Kennedy Davenport, Jasmine Kennedy, and Utica. All right, so this is interesting. I'm, this is gonna be fun, I think. I'm yeah? pleasantly surprised. I, the budget, they got some money, girl. See it. They, <laughs> all them dancers were at least like $300 a pop, bitch. I mean, they, they had some money. <laughs> One of them actually dances for us at the Vegas Live. Did you notice him? Did you clock him in the back? I can see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's cute. It's giving a little voice, like the voice where it's like they have like some trainers here and there, and then mm -hmm. they go out and perform on stage, and then the two will battle it out. Yeah, it's interesting. I was fully thinking the three um, drag queen mentors were gonna put them in drag, but now seeing this, I'm like, oh no, they're just there to talk game and be like, you got it. Yeah. What were you thinking about it? Uh, I love the moment when uh, <laughs> they have them speak right after they perform, and they're like. <laughs> 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 They're not used to this. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. I'm like, oh, what are they gonna say? No, truly speaking, after doing a drag performance is an art. You have to like hold enough air to speak and then catch your breath in the three seconds that's away. Be like, yes, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. It definitely is. Um, I do. I love the comedy. I think that um, the mentors are gonna make this really fun. Mm -hmm. Do we think? Is this something that you would do if they would ask you to do this? Would you do this? Any of you guys? Uh, yeah, I would, but they didn't. <laughs> That's because you were twirling in Las Vegas. <laughs> That's why. That's not why. <laughs> I would, but I think I was filming my season while this was going on also. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I definitely would. I don't think they would have me be a mentor because I didn't win any challenges or like, you know, things like that. But, you know, I definitely think they'd be, uh, have me as a guest for sure. I think if I was on it, all the boys would be clothed. Um, they were very sweaty. And I, I think I'd put them in a couple polka dots or something. <laughs> All right. Um, any guesses to who y'all think the first, um, the first celebrity is? That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, Wait, it was from, the, it from was the Backstreet the, Boys? Yeah. It was oh. the backwards hat and the hand tattoos that gave it oh. away. Kennedy said, Kennedy, you want to tell the audience and YouTube what you thought it I was? I was just kidding. I said vanilla ice. <laughs> 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 I hate you, bitch, already. <laughs> no, she was like, she was like oh, that's vanilla ice. Yep, that's Fair guess. I was it, like, it was giving me that. <laughs> he could have, though. Like, oh, really, it truly could have From been. the back. <laughs> And I think Jujubee's pranking us with this purple wig. Like, she looks lovely, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seasons we see <laughs> that purple bob. But I love her, truly. I loved her black dress, the fringe. That was nasty. Yes, I yes, that. yes, yes. RuPaul looks great. Everybody looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, how do you think they pick the other ones? We know Jujubee was just like, I'll do it. She's like, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's there. That's our girl. But why Brooklyn and Monet, do y'all think? They're sick why Brooklyn and Monet as the mentors? <laughs> Kennedy said, good question. Oh, y'all asking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, I thought somebody else would answer that shit. Um, I just don't know. Like, I think I got caught up in um, a Twitter, uh, a tweet, and I didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. And then I found out later, this is what they were talking about. Like. They picking the same girls to do the, you know, yeah. <laughs> but all right, I, listen, it's a gig, it's a job. I don't knock the girls. They didn't pick themselves, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not bitter at all, you know? It's just, hey, other girls can do the job, you know, if you give us a chance, so. But I'm happy for them always. I love them all. <laughs> I do! In question and answer. Yeah, Brooke's a host, and then, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, Monet's an all-star, and then uh, <laughs> Juju has been on more seasons than any of us. Than RuPaul. So than RuPaul, yeah. yeah. So well, I mean, I possess all enough. those qualities. Yes, no, you do have all those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <what> you... <laughs> and, and we're, we're back. back! Okay, that was just as good as the first one. Yeah. the first one was better. Better for you? Yeah. Okay. No, the first one was better. First was better yeah. than this one, okay. Yeah, yeah, the first one did a little more. She yeah. kind of gave... They gave the, the, a performance. Miss Shaka, she just kind of like gave, right? I think the one thing she did was she did a little turn. It was like, thank and you for coming. she's a weird woman too. Yeah, well, now that you... You would think they would like... 
They can't walk in heels. You know, you know emote that. some, you know, a little bit more. I guess. <laughs> um, I have no idea who that is. No idea. No idea. Okay. Okay. Boots. What is that? No. She has the cast. Singer, Whoever right? just said it. Is she a singer? Oh, no, Tatiana no, Lee. Um, box. Ashley from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, oh no. yes. Oh, that, Ooh, that be. means she done gained some weight. Okay. But <laughs> she grew up. She grew up. We thought it was. I thought it was Phaedra Parks for a second. I was like, oh yeah. In, in the cheekbone, Phaedra. I saw it, but the voice, I was like, I don't think but so. But then me and Kennedy were talking. I was like, do maybe? Or, do you think they're masking their voices? No. No. Oh. AJ sounded like AJ. <laughs> AJ well, sounded like I think AJ. if they're gonna go through, I think if they're gonna go through all this fucking shit, and you gotta sit here and the camera's gotta get you this way. They're gonna mask your voice. I'm That's glad what I that think. Michelle is not the only one who hears voices. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think I liked it that much. Yeah. I didn't like the outfit. I just, oh, flowers. <laughs> also, she was like the splitting image of RuPaul. Like, same wig, same. <laughs> I was like, eh. Yeah, I didn't care for the outfit either. Yeah. Like, one of you is going to have to change. Uh, who did her makeup? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the, are the girls in charge of doing their makeup too? No, with this, think, with this budget and the production, we, yeah. I, they have probably someone do their faces. Oh, yeah, they I think they would fired, show. Honey. Are we going to get a little BTS? Like, are we going to see someone painting someone while they're getting ready and someone cry? Like, they're going to stage and act like one of the mentors has painted their full face. Well, gonna, no, I want to see, you know, the process a little bit more. Yeah. I think that would make it a little bit more, um, like, grabbing. Yeah, for yeah. Me. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Watching very, them. it's more commercial now. Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not really raw, you know. Like, drag race would be, or drag you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see them frustrated, like trying to get in padding and all of that, you know, all of that, like that we really have to go through. And like all the backs, you know, the back when it's hot. I know them nuts hurt. <laughs> <laughs> would we have to see the back of their head the whole time while they struggle? Yeah, like, that is so tight. It's <laughs> like, oh, but you only see the back. You're like, oh, it is. <laughs> oh, that's so tight. That's crazy. Oh, ooh. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Well, and they're having to do, you learn all the aspects of drag over time. They're having to do everything their very first time. Uh, glue the wig down, corset, wear high heels, pantyhose and pads. Like, they're going through it. Do y'all remember y'all's first time in drag? <laughs> oh, I was so green. Oh my God. I, I was like a little doll. And I, and I was just blessed to be around like veterans already, so I didn't get like the shitty hand of the stick until I got to college okay. and I was on my own. But I was just like a baby doll, but that stage was like second nature. I've always been on, on fire on stage. Oh, yeah. You feel safe, you feel at home on the stage. Yes. I remember walking in heels and I couldn't. <laughs> I had to practice at home. <laughs> and we're back. All right. Well. So let's talk about the first performance that we just saw. We clearly know who that is. Donna right? Bellissima. We, we all know who that is. That is Daniel Francesi, clearly. From yes. Let's Girls. talk about the shoe. Let's talk about <laughs> the shoe. It was a little bit. What shoe? What shoe? What shoe? What's what's a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the she first had protocol for that her shoe? Her heel was as much as red baby, that Utica has on her baby, shoe right she now, was bitch. Worse. <laughs> She was it wearing was a just, slide for the show, bitch. A slip and slide. <laughs> that's the bad. only shoe they could find? Well, the biscuit heel matched the grocery theme number, so I think that's what she was going for with the eggplant, the peaches, the subway. No. <laughs> <laughs> the biscuit heel. Sorry about it, but Lies. we don't... Yeah. Not buying it, bitch. <laughs> the number was good. And also, too, if you noticed, his name was Bellissima. If you know, he has a YouTube series with, like, Italian moms, so I think that's like, a little hint to ah, it. Nice Random one. little cue for you. Utica asked why the eggplants were so small. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't matter. Incorrect. Uh, I'm allergic. <laughs> it was the sub for me. I was like, is there onions on it? Or no. <laughs> I, think, like, I like the character, though. I like mm -hmm. the way she was in character the whole time. You know, when everything else fails, stay in character. Yeah, the camp. I think the campiness of that saved yes, it. Yes, for sure. It felt like the juxtaposition between the two was like serving a lot of face, no dance, whereas the other one was all dance, no face. Ah, yes, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah, I think the second group, Millie Von Sunshine. Sunshine. That's a whole mouthful. Okay. Um, I thought stunning, beautiful, great. I think she could have done that without the dancers. 
I think she could have done that without that wig. <laughs> Utica was saying the wig was The wig floppy. drowned it. Any, anytime you have anything on your back, like a back piece or mm -hmm. something, you know, around you, you just need something to look on your head because it takes away a look. You know, she could have had a wave on, a white wave or something, you know, because it was just doing all kind of shows up here. It was, it was a distraction to me. You know, it took away from her performance, you know, and it really drowned her face. She already had this backpack or whatever on, on her shoulders. I don't know if it was the, the hair that drowned her face. I think it was that eyeliner. That was very dramatic. Yeah, she was, oh, it was yeah. everything. I know it was everything. Yeah, it was a lot. I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. Yeah. It was cute. Well, we know I think it's a lot to you. I know. I'm so soft. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> um, before y'all guess, who did y'all think Millie Von Sunshine was and or is? The only person I could guess, like, like 0.3%, is the uh, main character of Lemonade Mouth. Um, <laughs> if anyone knows Disney, what's her name? Terminate girl? Bridget. <laughs> Bridget? No, not that one. Um, okay. The girl who's like the punky one who always wears the beanie in the back. Which one? I think it's that, yeah. Okay. Really Kyoko, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, um, I would like to know where these people are celebrities because I don't know anybody. Like, are they like, really? You guys are celebrities. I mean, <laughs> what list are they on? Are that like A or D, yeah. Yeah. B, F? Because <laughs> I don't know none of these bitches. <laughs> All right, audience, who did we think it was? Young Johnson. Young Johnson. I don't know who that is. Let me Google these Sean people. Oh, Sean John Johnson. Sean Johnson. Oh, Sean Johnson. Okay. No, she's... I thought Lauren Conrad, but she can't dance. Okay. Chloe Moretz. Okay. No idea who that, that is. That is so specific. No idea. <laughs> Love like, her work. Bitch, they're wearing contour. Like, their face is completely changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blossom. <laughs> Blossom. <laughs> I, I want to get into the head of the costumers. Like, some of the, like... I'm like, ooh, yes, a bodysuit, but make it mint. Ooh. <laughs> or half and half, but make know, her hair think... match one side. Ooh. <laughs> I think I know one of them, but I don't want to, like, shade them. Sequins <laughs> and big hair. Ooh. No. Sequins. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're having awesome. our own little time over here. <laughs> sorry. She... Kennedy is just having a time. How are we enjoying Chicago? Love it. Oh, we'll, we'll get find back out to after this. We'll get back to this. Okay. She an old hoe. Yeah. yeah she you can tell she an old hoe. She just got Rue together. I said, her face is giving a little Sarah McLaughlin, but I don't know if that's ah, accurate. Ah, I'm getting sick of bit. these white ass wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Teased all the way I It's like they're using the same hair. <laughs> Her. Oh, girl, let me use that when you're done. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull it up in the back and just tease a little bit and spray the front brown. Good, good as new. I what was on her eyes? I need to know. Lashes. Were they 301. They couldn't have been no. lashes. No, ma'am. Were they peacock feathers? A fool. And whoever <laughs> did her makeup is a fool, too. <laughs> that makeup was atrocious. I mean, did you see the comparison to the other people who have come before her. Yes. Somebody else did her makeup. They had pulled them off the street, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> they had pulled them clean out the, right, right here on the alley. Baby, can you come here? You, we need you to do something for us real quick. <laughs> her makeup was ugly. Yeah. They both didn't do the greatest, those two. They weren't the greatest. Yeah. Oh, who was the first, was the first, one? first one? The first one was I Jackie forgot. Wood. It was a gray-haired person. Jackie couldn't. <laughs> she couldn't. Jackie could not. I wish Jackie, Jackie wouldn't. I don't even remember her. That's sad. <laughs> Wait, what did Jackie wear? Jackie Damn. wore purple, and she did a Lizzo song. She oh, yeah, she was the, older. Right. She did Oh, off, with the ugly off shoes. Off <laughs> she she wore a juice box. Is that the one with the ugly with red shoes? You said no neck as I well. I think no neck. No, she had a purple shoe on. She had a heel. Oh, Trixie. She, ah! I thought it was Ross Matthews, maybe. <laughs> no, Trixie That could be didn't. Ross Matthews. She looked like a like an old Trixie before she... Bitch, she got a new neck? Before she got the money. <laughs> You're telling me Trixie bought a neck with that money, bitch? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Hey guys, there's a couple I'm of seats up here. If you guys, <laughs> guys want to fill in the seats, so you guys two. don't have to stand up. You guys can come sit down if you, you want. You can come sit. We don't For bite. Sure. We don't bite. We don't yeah. bite. We don't bite. Yeah, yeah um, we talking to y'all over there yeah. standing up against the wall. If you want to come sit down, ma'am, ma'am. you can come sit down. We are not in Texas. No, no. Yeah. Well, they can't hear y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shit, they in their phones and shit. Like, who are y'all talking to? <laughs> and he keeps on going. Okay. She's like, <laughs> well, fuck it. Yeah. Um, after Jackie Wood, we had Electra Owl. Um, any idea who that is? <laughs> yeah, very well, Electra Owl. Not so much. I think yeah. it's Natasha Bedingfield. Get a use. Blank. Natasha Bedingfield. <laughs> <laughs> She's on everything. Raise your glass. Dance. That was Blanche. Oh, it was so bad. It she was, didn't die. She crystallized. They should have put those. They should have put those two in the first part of the episode. Yeah. And not put it <laughs> at the end. They should have yeah. put them at the front and put the other two. Yeah, right where they were. It just made me a little but uncomfortable. But how are you to determine whose show's gonna be good though? Well, you because you just have weird. No, not really. Not well, really. Well, you know, no, after be, you could go back and switch the order. <laughs> It's true. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want a good run of it, like I would say, put those girls their act. In they the should have went first. Yeah. Honey. Yeah. Ooh, they were so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me or does RuPaul look com- uncomfortable every time they zoom to them? They're like. There's a couple times. Michelle is living. She is pilled You know she ain't got no shoes on. <laughs> she fine. And we're back. back. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. The best. The it best was. drag. Okay, oh. let's, let's talk about the first one that we saw, if we can Who remember. Was it? Thirsty Girl. Von Trapp, the Pussycat Dolls number. Oh, okay. Did, one, oh. Mm-hmm. did y'all see her feet? <laughs> I'm going to do that number tonight and show y'all how that song's actually supposed to go. Yes! How about that? Yeah. I saw that and I was like, mmm. Bitch, them feet was big, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> if you do not stop looking at people, she feet. had on ships. <laughs> Talk about little biscuits, big submarine yes, loads. Yes, and I look at the whole package, hun, and the feet. The package was there. It was meaty. Oh. Yeah. Batty <laughs> said it was giving Orion's story, which I saw that. <laughs> That's my sister. It's fine. I know her. Okay. okay. It was funny. She's my sister, but I don't know. You said, I love you, sister. I'm not going to tell him what you said, because I'd love you. <laughs> uh, I said Maddie, too. <laughs> yeah. Who said you. Maddie? Who said Maddie? I said it. Ma- I thought Maddie for Maddie has too. more rhythm than that. Until we, saw, I, until we saw her in drag. Until we saw her in drag, and I was like, oh, Maddie's much oh, prettier. No, no. Right. Yeah. Maddie's. And we all, were, we all know the last time. person is Loretta Divine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. Her character... Who she everything. is. She plays the same character on every Tyler Perry film yeah. and everything she does. It's like, I mean, but she. Defini- just, oh, now that I say that, you know good, who it is. Though. Yeah, that's Loretta Devine. She's just like, you, you, know, you know Patty LaBelle when you, you see when her, you hear yeah. her, when you Loretta's see her. The same. You know, it's just like, I mean, you know Diana Ross when you know yeah. her. You know? So, I mean, it's hard to not, like, her, know her, that that's Loretta Devine. Her voice was too distinguishable. I yeah. actually liked her outfit. And I don't know who I did, did not. whoever did her makeup no. need to be no. shot. You guys go no. no. You to come. What, no. what do you think about that? Whoever no. did her makeup no. need to be shot. It was the wrong And whoever highlight. put them black tights on her need to be shot too. <laughs> Wait, but did we catch the aprons on the dancers because their packages were gonna show? Did you catch that? All of them were in spandex pants and they oh. were obviously tight because their asses were showing. <laughs> so they put aprons on them with the same color. Watch it. Roll it back, you two. You'll get it. <laughs> Roll back. Yeah, run it back. Roll it back. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's on your mind, bitch? Well, no, I was just thinking. <laughs> no, because I was—I actually watched the dancers for the first time. Uh, <laughs> because you were bored with the performance. Because I was bored yeah. with the show. Got so yeah. I was watching the background. You pulled a Mama Roo, looked at yeah, the deck. Got I, it. I, I did. Just fine, 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 fine. <laughs> When she sat down, it set me. I was like, yeah, you girl, you sit down. <laughs> mm. Have several seats. It was the best so choreography so far right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So <laughs> do, did we see everybody? This is everybody now? I think I there's think one. So. There has to be one. I don't more. know how to there's count, but I girl. think so. Who's okay. counting? You know how Anyone? to count to eight and then repeat. We're and we're back. I think it's safe to say they, like, they saved the best for last. Saved the best for last, absolutely. And we're all aware of who that is. Yes. Yes. Artie from Glee, Kevin McHale. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was Will Appeal. <laughs> <laughs> 
she was silent for a couple of weeks. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Just a couple. I see it. I see it. Okay, so out of everyone we have so far, I would say two or three of them are standing out as finalists. Who are y'all thinking? That last one. Yep. The first as one. Finalists. It was the juice box I can't for me. Call a winner, but like people who would make it to the final. It was one of them in the middle, <laughs> and I like the first one. Poppy the love. first one really, really did good. The second yeah. one was good too. First two were good. We were like, okay, if this is how the show is gonna go, beach. we're gonna live. And then we went to a biscuit, and then we were like, yeah. fuck this. The girl who did Ava Max did good. Just her wig was off. Millie. Yeah. Yes. Millie. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And then oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. and her makeup. Oh, the owls gotta go. Who girl. y'all think going home? Who? Blaine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The one who did Lizzo offbeat. Lizzo. Blanche. Blanche. <laughs> I'm talking about Blanche. <laughs> Blanche. What was who? What was ju- uh, the one who did Juice? What was their name? The one that the wore purple. They wore purple. No neck. Oh, Jackie oh. Wood. Jackie Wood. Jackie. Jackie. Wood. Jackie. Jackie. No. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> Jackie. So many new names. <laughs> Jackie phone home, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Call a friend. Oh. <laughs> I can't with you. Are you having fun? <laughs> Are you having fun up oh, there? I'm having a good time, bitch. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, so um, we live, we live, we live. <laughs> I want to know um, about your first time in drag. We started talking about oh, it. Oh, yes. yes. So just, let's just like take like 30 seconds yeah. and like give me, give me something and mm-hmm. then pass it on. Yeah, we'll start with you, Utica. So I start off real young. Um, I stole my, yeah, I'm a thief. Um, I stole my parent, my mom's uh, heels and her hat, an umbrella and a little dress, well, a big dress on me and big heels on me. And I went to kindergarten Halloween as... Mary Poppins. <laughs> yes, my parents were pissed. <laughs> they were so pissed. But I was happy. Uh, my, uh, my first time in drag, uh, I was 15. It was May 24th, 2015. And yesterday. Was, yesterday. It was actually at a youth center. And two fun facts. One, I had to paint a girl at the show because her makeup artist fell out. So I painted her like first time in drag, fun. I spilled spirit gum on her outfit. Whoops, don't care. And two, my mom, because I was at doing a youth gig, she wouldn't let me physically touch tips. So I did the Vicky Vox, put the basket over here, wrap it around, and I made more money than half the bitches. Yeah. So it was fun. And it was Christina, show me how to burlesque, Avi, half up, half down, um, red and black outfit, done. And I ate and I did a split. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Miss Davenport? Uh, I started actually doing shows at 16. I wasn't dressing in drag, but I was doing shows at 16 years old. Um, it was a talent night. That was the, the only way they was gonna let you on the stage. You had to do a talent night. Um, and I, oh my goodness, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Before I started like knowing how to drag dance, I used to just walk around and high kick. So <laughs> my first song was um, Round and Round by Big Sister. Yeah. I still do it to this day. That's Daddy's anthem, that's Diva. My jam, girl. I still do it to this day. Oh, I live. But that's my first drag number, and I had a fringe, gold and burgundy fringe costume. It was a two piece. Then I was like a size zero. Um, and I was just walking around in my little heels that I practiced. With every day in the house, <laughs> but it was—I mean, it was fun. It was that, those were liberating moments because you were able to just not think about who's in the audience. You just happen to be in drag. And you just happen to perform, and happy to have the moment, given the chance to perform. You know, yeah. as young artists, it's very much like what we're watching with these celebrities. Like. This is their first time. They're having so much fun. I love it. Um, real quick, my first time, I was 18, and we're back. <laughs> 18, we'll pick it up right after. Okay. What? Those, Just to do that? Those <laughs> close-ups were giving that one drag con that were unfiltered all 40 of the drag queens. Just said, Shady. Jinx. <laughs> Shady. There was a quick break. I don't yeah. think we needed that right now, but... Yeah. Uh, so wait, you were started drag at 18. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so it was a great filler. So when I started drag, my name was Dominique Davis. Okay. And then yeah, and then I um, did a pageant like two weeks later. Um, 
one of my friends put me in drag and I went out for the first category and I went to go um, turn the corner and they're like, welcome contestant number one, Batty Davis. And I was like, that's me. And all my friends had been calling me Batty because I'm batshit crazy, naturally. But when my eyebrows grow in, they grow in perfect to the arch and then they have like little bat wings at the end. Oh, okay. So literally, and I'll, I'll, post, a, um, I'll post something like later. Your eyebrows have really a widow peak? Yes, bitch, Cute. full on, I have bat wings. So that's, that's, and then, yeah, now, and the rest is her street, honey. Well, I'm glad you changed that first name. She was kind of mature. <laughs> really? Especially 18, bitch. <laughs> Starting early. Well, I was just thinking because of Dominique Dawes, because I live for her. Mm. But, yeah, anyway, how about you, Caramel? Ooh. So I started drag when I turned 23, I believe. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> um, there, I saw there was a need for um, drag in my city. There was just the queens who'd been there 20 plus years. Pay respect to those, because they paved the way so we can all like walk in ours, honestly. But um, I saw a need for just fresh faces. So yeah, I went through my booger phase and then uh, won an amateur competition against one of Kennedy's, like, I don't know if you claim him as a granddaughter, but Jawakatima Davenport from Mobile. That's my niece. That's her niece. So I beat um, one of her daughters in an amateur competition. And yeah, here I am now. <laughs> that's good. Um, did you? Not my daughter. She, yeah. <laughs> she said she didn't be no, my good. daughter. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Not my daughter. It's a cousin. It's a, it's she's she said, my niece. She said, Jocko, we might, uh, that is not my daughter. Jocko is my niece. My niece. Yes. Um, did any of you, when you started doing drag, did you have the name that you have now, or were you in a case like myself? No. Uh, I, go ahead. My, my name was Mia. Yeah. Just Mia? Just Mia. I think that's a little I think that's a little too uh too Get young out. for you now. <laughs> it was Mia girl. We was I was sitting around high. Y'all used to smoke like fucking crazy. We were sitting around high. I was like, girl, we need a couple we need to come up with you a name, girl. And then my best friend was like, How about Mia? <laughs> <laughs> and then we was like, okay. <laughs> then I was introduced to Calexis and being a part of the Davenport family during that time, your name had to start with the K. So You couldn't she, do Kamia? Huh? You couldn't do Kamia? No, hell no. <laughs> she wanted to name me, uh, my name is Unisex because she said it appealed to all types of um people in audiences, the community yeah. and audiences. So that's why she named me Kennedy. Yes, ma'am. My uh, original last name was Rikers. <laughs> I, let me explain. I was like very young and I was like, ooh, what's like a good last name? I was like, ooh, I want to be Jailbait. I'm like, young. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't know what Jailbait meant at the time. I now do. And so we're back. back. No more Jailbait. No. Wow, y'all. <laughs> Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. I've only heard that on a Family Guy reference. I don't know who that is. She's in the ground, girl. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about what just happened. Yeah, make some noise for tonight's winner, Poppy Love. Yeah. Yes. And then Fabulosity went home, revealed to be as Loretta Devine. We knew it. That OG dream girl. But we have a photo right here. Photo op. Mm. Pose divs. Thanks. Thank up, you. I've been eating fat shit. It's okay. I knew she was going to win, though. It's like she had the total package. You know, from First the one start, popular. she had character. I mean, she knew the choreography. She was on her words. She, and she just embodied the character more than everybody else, I Do believe. we think Poppy Love did better than Chick LaFay? Yes. Mm. I, I think do. it was about the no. same. I no. don't. No. <laughs> I can't believe Candy Girl was safe. I cannot believe it. Yeah. It was just like all of it perfect. The costuming, the everything. The dance. I, I mean, I, I just really think it was the entertainment value. I mean, she, t to be first at the shoot, she turned it. Well, Chick did it without a wheelchair, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a salon chair. <laughs> they had to pump her up, bitch. They were like. <laughs> That's what happened. It was a good first episode. 
It was good. Yeah. I'm very excited for the next few weeks to come and see what we reveal. We, we thought, yeah. is it eight weeks? They have, they have eight queens, so that must mean there's going to be a double save or no elimination at some point. Yeah. Huh? We'll see. That's RuPaul. I don't think, I don't think there'll be celebrities This will probably be the last time <laughs> I watched the show. <laughs> Actually, the last time I watched the show was it's when I was so here. Stupid. <laughs> I have to pee so bad. You're about to make me piss me my pants off. Me too, Save this tape as Ryder. Bitch, if I shake my head, my wig going that way, okay? <laughs> bitch? This mess been rising all night. Really? Ooh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Roscoe's, do not forget to stick around at 10.30. We will have performances from Utica, Jasmine Kennedy, and Kennedy Davenport, joined by Batty Davis and myself. Yes, 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 yes. Are you dancing tonight, girl? Baby, don't ask the boy. What you gonna do tonight? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> well, you'll have to wait and see. Well, I said, why the <laughs> fuck would you ask me the question? I'm doing Red Alert by Basement Jacks for your old ass, because I knew you'd oh, like that. Yes, ma'am, I love it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do um, It's All Good by Fantasia. That's oh, like, It's awesome. All Good. Oh, see, you know. Yes. This just All right, in. next week's <laughs> guest is We Don't Give a Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. Next week, our guest joining us will be Denali. And we will also, she's fresh off tour. Fresh off tour. And we will have Thorgy Thor back with us. She's a good time. Ha, ha. The, half the crowd went, whoa, for Thorgy. <laughs> Love you, girl. Yep, they love them. Thorgy's a good time. She's, she's tell the greatest. Us how much she hates Bob and how well she's doing. So I'm excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should we take some questions from the audience? Do you guys yeah. have any questions for our so guests tonight? A little Q and A. I'm okay with that. Any questions? Any questions? No oh, one. Oh, no. we got Hello, one right here. One. Please think of the appropriateness and the context of your question before presenting him to Batty or myself. <laughs> Sorry, I needed a snack. Batty needed an onion ring. Hi. I'm fucking hungry, bitch. My question's about Palestine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Kennedy Davenport, you are an all-star seven. How did you get into that? Yeah, well, I mean, no, no. Uh, well, Three. How did you get to be, like, the roast of all-star seven? Like, get into that. How did you get asked about it? The roast. The feature. The record. They wanted to do a play on the Kennedy Center honors, and they just called me... And that's how it happened. <laughs> and she answered the call. It was right. It was nothing. It was nothing like behind it or anything. They just they wanted to. It was a kind of like a parody or a fun spin off of the Kennedy Honors, and they called me. So I and I did the video. Did you know what? But I didn't know that like my face was going to be on the podium. I didn't know it was going to be a whole episode. Yes. So I was grateful for that. Yeah. I mean, when they do things like that, you just be glad to be on TV, you know. Did they pay you? Of course. She does not yes. do anything for free. Look at her. Uh-uh. They always pay the girls. They <laughs> ask us to if they if, if World of Wonder RuPaul's Drag Race asks us to do anything, there's always some type of compensation. This mm -hmm. is a business. Good. So, yeah. All right, we have another question over here. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, you're amazing, you're great. And my question is, goes for Utica. You always have like amazing looks, amazing attitude. And if you have to pick just one biggest inspiration, who would it be and why? Well, originally it was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she had to stop that a few thousand years ago, yes. Um, but what I do in that don't mix, really. Um, my inspiration, um, well, uh, to be kind of corny, like, you know, these divas, really, like, um, I found that drag is inherently freedom, and I found that drag really helped me become the best version of myself I could possibly imagine, right? And, like, uh, I don't know, like, every time I come across a drag queen or whatnot, I just, I feel even more free in being myself, and so, um, yeah, the queens are my favorite, my favorite part of this whole thing. And I get to be one of them. <laughs> so, yeah. I love you, girls. Thank you. So, uh, to all of you, thank you for coming. Um, this is for Kennedy. Um, could you please share with younger folks out here your little richer impression? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Jasmine, were you even alive for that? I was alive. That was actually the first full, her season was the first full season I watched, <laughs> had to tell. Yeah. Now, what you want me to do now? <laughs> little your, Richard. Ooh. Your little Richard impression. Oh, okay. <laughs> Musa. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> I'm the originator. I created this thing. Ain't nobody ever gave me nothing. But you know what I feel? I feel real. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I love church. That was good. Thanks for doing that for us. All right. Hi. Do you make all your amazing outfits yourself? Utica. <laughs> I was going to say, are you looking at me? Because you sure as hell aren't looking at that. For all of you. Uh, <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You don't make or break me, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> Trust. You know, oh, I do. I do. Um, I surround myself with lovely people that love to hand sewing junk and that's part of my pastime. Sometimes I feel like my, my only friends are my sewing machine. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I think it's definitely part of the craft yeah. and we can make ourselves into beautiful creatures so why not yeah. put your hands on it. Utica made Willow into her finale performance. Let's give a shout out to that. Yeah, I, um, I used to sew and then the Glamazon Prime Challenge happened and then I started paying designers to make me look pretty. Uh, but yeah, sh Shout out to uh, House of Gods made the corset and Godoy made my outfit for tonight. Yeah. But yeah, I don't make outfits anymore. I'm too tired to do that. I so. never have. <laughs> <laughs> and not <laughs> shamed of it. Well, I, okay, well, I take Your that Hello back. Kitty was I cute. did so on the, sh on the show. Whether you hoes liked it or not, I took pride in it because, bitch, I sold it. <laughs> but I do not make my own costumes, no. I take pride in... Um, investing in my crap and I choose people that everybody doesn't use so I like to bring people up to where I'm at you know if I I come up you come up so I like to use people that every all girls don't use I like to use the unsung uh, designers and things like that so I mean either way you know it all balances out for us to be fierce hi what's your name Luciana, hi, I have a question for Yurika. Would you go through the experience of Drag Race ever again? Yes or no? <laughs> Very, <laughs> uh, you know, um, so I really love what I do. And I'm not the most like competitive person because I just, I just love it. I think, I think it's a real gift to be who we are. Um, and so being put in a position of being competitive in who you are was really tough for me. Um, but I don't know, I think it'd be really fun. I've grown a lot taller since then. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, if an all-stars moment is in the future, I think that'd be so sweet. Girl, that's a chick, say yeah. I love money. <laughs> Who cares, bitch, that's a chick. Kennedy's like, bitch, I was just on the last episode. I got a nice check. You dropped your pen, your vape. No smoking in the bar, I'm kicking you out. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my question is for all of you. So just sticking with the theme of uh, doing drag for the first time, I did drag for the first time a couple weeks ago here, actually, and I just wanted to know if you had any advice to, to sort of pass on. Ooh, I have a really good one. Do drag for drag, do, don't do drag to just get on a television show. And let me explain why. So, um, a lot of queens nowadays will find what they find on Instagram or social media and things like that and say, that is what drag is, and they will go to those designers, get the looks, get the hair, get the face done, figure that all out. But what I think is great about drag is that you find your own individual art while practicing and falling and not doing necessarily the best of what you think, you know? You don't have to be Instagram ready 24 seven. So my biggest advice to anybody starting drag is to do drag for the purpose of yourself, but also to express art. 
rather than just getting on a TV show to have a quick 15 minutes of fame. So yeah. No shade, all shade. Utica or Kennedy, either one of us. Oh, the mother of wisdom will go last. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> no, I, I definitely agree with that. Like, like I said before, like drag is, you know, a protest. It's about, you know, taking gender norms and throwing them out the window. But it's also about being the best version of yourself you can imagine. You know, just go and take drag and make it fly free. You know, and it's for entertainment, it's for everyone. So, so, ing. Go be a <laughs> um, uh, period. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ask you, if this is the first time you did drag last week. Um, is I know him, he comes and sees us regularly. So, and I'm was just gonna it just for... He loves drag, and he is oh, a straight man. Oh, don't talk for man. him. Give him the microphone. He's a metamorphosis. I'm giving you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, so See? this was your first time last week. D is okay. My first <laughs> question to you is: Is this just for fun? Yes. Yeah. So it's just for fun. Yeah. No, it's an honest question. Shit, don't laugh. Okay, because it's different ways to answer this question. You get what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah. I guess that since this is just for fun, um, always take it seriously because we take it seriously. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's different from somebody who wants to, to take this craft seriously and make it a career, then that's different advice. But always be willing, keep your mind open to receiving other inspirations from everything around you and never think you're too good, at, you know, never think you're too good. So you uh, keep yourself humble and whenever you do get in drag, be the best that you could possibly be in that moment. Yes, ma'am. He said, yes, ma'am. He said it that right. That is the correct response. Oh, I'm to sure that. I'm yes, older than him. <laughs> he knows no, the lecture. I may not look like it, but <laughs> dead ass. He did come out. He did his research. I saw, what's her name? Had a question. I think at the back with the blonde right there raising up. You didn't have to get up. I can squeeze through. Shit. Hey. It's just being nice to you. Yeah. Um, as if uh, I'm a performer too, and I'm wondering what is your favorite part about performing. Everyone looks at me. I, <laughs> um, it's I, so different for me. So, bro, uh, so I love dressing up. I feel like, like you know, I grew up in a ho dunk farm town full of Christians and cows, um, and I honestly was jealous of Barbies. I just thought they were so cool, and I was like, ugh. Um, I was stuck with trucks when all my my girlfriends were stuck with with the cool the cool girls. Um, but no, like we get to. Dress up, feel the fantasy, put on a sparkle. And I mean, I'm gay. So I like to feel. Oh my God, you're gay? <laughs> uh, what? But I like to feel as gay as possible. You know, let her out. Was the question reasons for doing drag or most favorite part? The best part of oh, performing. I think the best part of performing for me personally would have the ability to express. Um, to any audience that I am performing, you know, what um, I imagine myself in the song. So whenever I'm performing, I know this is super weird, I always imagine myself as how I would create that music video in my mind. And so essentially it's just, my favorite part of performing is showing you guys my take on the song or my view of the song and showing you guys that that's what it means to me. I think, you know, with performing, you get to connect with people one way or another and if it's through your movements or your enunciation, I think, you know, telling your story through a song, regardless of what it is, is my favorite part of it. Yeah. I would definitely have to say, because I've been, I'm going on 27 years. Yes, man. Uh, <laughs> um, it's no longer about me. Uh, when there was opportunity before, it was just an opportunity to perform because I just love to perform. I went to school for the performing arts and 
I just wanted to be famous. I wanted to be on stage. I wanted, you know, that was the whole goal. But now, being that it, it was a hobby, now it's a business, and I don't always want to get in drag. I don't always want to be on stage because I've done it for so long. But the thing that I enjoy now about performing is that I get to entertain you guys. You are my energy. You are my source of why I do what I do. You know, that's, I, your reaction, <laughs> and this is the truth, your reaction, what you get out of my show, the reason why I do the numbers that I do is to maybe change your life for a couple of minutes or make you forget about that depression or whatever you may be going through with that boyfriend or suicide or, you know, it goes deeper for me because my ministry is different now. It's not what it used to be as a young entertainer. So it's more so about the people that I may reach at that moment in time. And let the church say amen, okay? Yes. Yeah, that was, took so it right that I mean, was great. Yeah. Yes. Oh, for me. Do you want to read Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. join in on that. For performing, um, the best part for me, I feel like as drag artists, we're all, we all have a superpower, whether it be costume, dancing, wigs. We can't do it all. Um, but what we can do, I think we put our best heel forward. And for me, it's like captivating and making people feel safe in the space we're in. When I when I when people tell me that, that's how I know I'm doing my job, and I feel like I can keep being a drag entertainer until I'm not good at that anymore. What about you, Batty? Well, I have the highest anxiety, and I have ever since I was young. My mom put me in tap dancing as a teenager, and it like really allowed me to just be free and have the ticket to cat, 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 you know, and create my own little path as I've grown into myself now so my favorite part about performing is that little five seconds of anxiety that I have before they call my name and my music starts and I hit right here because I know once I get there I'm back where I know I love to be which is the safe space the performance I feel free so it's the, just that five seconds where I feel like I'm actually out of body walking on stage and then it just it just kicks in for me yeah literally Oh, do we have another question? Um, so I'm super glad, Kennedy, that you said what you just said, because um, it actually really builds into the reason for my question. Four years ago, almost to the day, you were here for Market Days, and you did your end of the road number. And that what you just described, that had that effect on me. Um, I tell everyone that that's the best drag number I've ever seen. Um, like, to this day, it was... That did truly, like it was my third or fourth time here. Sorry, I'm, get, I'm like getting emotional. I'm so happy I get to say this to you. Um, Cause it was so amazing. Um, but I feel like, and truly like I've never felt a room as united as that room was during that number. And it was just so special. Um, so really you do that. Um, and I, kind of building off of that. And also what you said, uh, all of you in your last answers, I feel like every performer kind of has those numbers in their back pocket that are just like super special for whatever reason, or like they just know is like gonna kill. And I'm curious how you decide like when you're gonna bring those out. Um, Cause I think it always creates a special moment and those crowds are really lucky. Um, let me just go ahead and just get my answer out the way. Uh, <laughs> I tend to now, um, mainly after the pandemic or like during and after the pandemic, I tend to do the same numbers um, because they're in different states. And <laughs> yeah, no, for real. But they all have the same impact. So, and those are my best numbers. So I'm going to bring my best number wherever I go. And whether you've seen it one time, two times, three times, it's gonna be a different message each and every time. So you have to, and I have to um, add to what you were saying. Once you find your purpose as a drag entertainer, then the performance is different. Once you know what your purpose is in life and what you are destined to do and be as an entertainer, 
that performance is different. And that goes for any, that goes for everybody in here. Once you finally find who you are and what your what your destiny is and you start walking in your purpose, then everything you do is different. It's a different lifestyle, okay? So that's why I do the same numbers is because every time it's a different message. Only time I do something different is if it's not um, a drag race crowd, honestly. Um, I like to bring my best show. So I'm gonna bring my best show every time. I, uh, I think for me right now, because I'm just fresh off of a season, I'm trying to give everybody, you know, what they saw on the show, which was basically me bucking down 24 seven. But, you know, um, with that comes kind of like lo um, making like my set list shorter in terms of like what songs I could pick, which um, is a little bit of a detriment to me as an artist because you know, Sometimes I do want to do a ballad or things like that and people just like don't get it from me. So, you know, as an artist, I always try to pick a crowd pleaser because at the end of the day, you know, this is a business and we are also trying to make a, you know, living off of this. But for me, whenever I'm picking a song, I want to feel that I'm comfortable. I want to feel that I've already know the lyrics up and down. I never want to give an audience, you know, something that I don't know will be effective. You know, if I'm still questioning the song, I will not put it on stage because I don't want you to question the song. Because I feel like that's very important. Like when, you know, you're a, a girl on the road and you have to give these people 110% all the time, I feel it's only best that you give them something you're confident with rather than something that you're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw it and hope they be good. No, you wanna give, you know, you wanna give it what you saw, you know, on that moment on stage, you're like, that was the reason, you know, I fell in love with what you did not see. Right, or what you didn't see. <laughs> or what you didn't see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a lot of those in my last episode, but yeah, go ahead, continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me drunk on that third drink. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I need another shot. Can I get a shot? <laughs> um, let's see. Um. I, I gotta pee, bitch. I'm I am, sorry, you. I, I don't know if you guys can see me, but bitch, I am creeping over Girl. here. Like, I am gonna piss myself. I'm fully. <laughs> Caramel, I need you to take over for the Q and A because I literally have to excuse <laughs> myself. You to go. What were you? No, I could. I girl. Unica, I'm fully little bo pee right now. Like, woo. No, I'll keep this short. No, like, um, at the end of the day, this isn't about me. It's about us. You know. So I, I always try to keep that in mind whenever I'm performing you know it's about raising us together and creating experience um and on that note it was a pleasure and we have to fucking pee <laughs> well it looks like me and you are hosting this show yeah! tonight says <laughs> no um it's questions like that and moments like that why we yeah. do our job she remembers a very specific moment and when specific. we get reactions like that that's how we feel like we know we're doing yeah. what we're supposed to oh. um I got our question right here, then I'll make our if way the to the back. If the girls want to go pee, I can stand. Let's I can hold it. Good. I can hold it for stand the girls. Stand up for me if you don't mind. What's your name, babe? Rafael. Ooh, that sounds gorgeous. I'm not going to try to repeat it. it. <laughs> um, who is your question for, and what is the question? First of all, I want to say you and Bella look amazing tonight. Thank you so much. And my question is for Jasmine. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Um, I love your hair constantly. It's like one of the things I love most about you. It's amazing. And oh, I just want to know if you have any like wig styling tips because it's honestly gorgeous every time. Ah, uh, thank you. So I'll give you like tips for human, tips for synthetic. How does that sound? Um, tips for human hair. Um, I would find um, hair that is quality, but also um, it's very hard to source human hair and figure out where it's exactly supposed to be coming from. So just know when you're going into the human hair route that you don't know where it may be sourced specifically. Um, with that, find, you don't have to go to the best hairstylist. You don't have to go to the top girl on you know, the pages on Instagram and things like that. I would say go to a girl that you know, isn't very well known because half the time it's half the price than what a girl will charge that way. Um, and also too, with that, uh, treat human hair like it's real hair, you know? Wash it, heat protect it, brush, you know, it. brush it, deep condition it. Things that you need to maintain if, on a normal scalp. But mind you, on a wig, you don't have the heat that your head has. So make sure you're doing um, your hair in like a heated like area. I know that sounds weird, but it helps. 
Um, in synthetic, I would say my biggest tip for that is um, when you first get out of the bag, um, spray it with some dry shampoo because that shit is so plastic and shiny. Um, do that and also synthetic hair is going to look like shit until the very, 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 very end. So if you're styling it, don't give up on it until you brush it all out. That's my best tip. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I used to do hair, so like I could give a couple tips with hair. Yeah. No. No. Look, None of the I, So I don't like hair. You don't like hair? No. If I could wear a headpiece, ooh, or fabric around the head, uh, or something that isn't hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. So my brain works in colors and shapes, and so when there's one hair out of place, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone ever got to be? Yeah. Um, no, but I'm yeah, I'm quite the opposite. I will give you all the all the flowers though, because your hair is sickening. Thank the you. Boots, um, but I like to wear hats. Yeah, hats are good. Yeah, I um I haven't gotten to the human hair until this year when I started affording it. But all of that was either snatch racks or synthetic ponytails. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're talking about hair. They say you got any tips for hair, Kennedy? You got any tips? Yeah, tips about hair, styling, keeping it in. Well, here's the thing. You whip your hair around a lot. Teach uh, the girls how to keep it in. Well, <laughs> during my time, um, synthetic hair was like it. Like, we didn't have, like, lace fronts and things like that, you know? So, I like synthetic hair. <laughs> I mean, it keeps the curl. It's, it's low maintenance. And I'm not that style and go I mean I'm not that queen the only time I wear like hair like that is for pageants if that makes sense but everything else I can comb and style my own hair that's how I was taught so uh, yeah oh what I do to keep my hair on uh, well now I spray adhesive my scalp like the sides Ooh. the sides and then I put my snatch on that way so when I tie my snatch it doesn't move and then I pin my hair to the snatch. Can you please explain to the children and the children on YouTube about tying a snatch cuz it they might Okay, be a well little... back in the day cuz the girls are now they use duct tape or some type of tape or whatever but we I learned by putting a stocking on your head that's a snatch. But um, the best the best way is a fishnet because the pins, it's easier for the pins to go through. But that, that's a snatch. Basically, you just tie your head up and lay the legs flat so it won't hurt, but you know, it eventually does if you tie it too tight. But you just lay it flat and make sure it doesn't move before you put your hair on and before you pin it in. Snatch. Word. Snatched. Snatch your wig back. Okay. Any other questions in the house? Don't be shy. What about you? Speechless. Speechless. I love that Lady Gaga song. That's so good. Oh, yeah. Lady Gaga. Make sure you guys join us on Monday night uh, for the Lady Gaga Chromatica yeah, Ball. the Chromatica after party. Yes. I Aurora, will be here. Aurora, Aurora Gosnick, Gosnick Boo Jan? Barrymore, and Jan will Jan's also be Jan's going to be here, here yeah. in the house. So make sure you guys come out on a Monday. Let's pack this bitch. We got a question back here. Hi. Hi. One of my favorite drag race moments ever is Kennedy deadpanning the screen and just going, milk. milk. <laughs> so I, I want to know what's going on with milk. <laughs> um, and actually, it did not happen like that. <laughs> Some fan did that. But if you watch the original episode, I followed instructions just like everybody else did and explained my reason and said milk. But me and milk made up on the show. That, everything that you saw on the show was real. We made up on the show. I've always loved milk. And every time we see each other, I mean, it's, it's just like, it's magic because we are true friends. I like milk too, but I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> so I gotta take a lactate, bitch. Yeah. I he, hate they did that though, girl, because I did not shady. do that, but y'all just knew his ass was going home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Any other questions? No? Your dick is back anymore? The person in the back in the striped sweater behind We have one you, in though. the front, second row. Over here? Yeah. Oh. 
I'm gonna get this one right up here first, okay, Daddy. I'll be right over Hi. there. Hi, what's your name, babe? My name is Eric. Um, Hi, Eric. Eric, who's your question for? It's for Utica. Hola. Um, so I wanna, I, I love this look. So I wanted to ask more about like, um, first like what, your, your inspiration and also like your hat. Like this, it's, it's how you're holding your hat. Like it's, it's so cool. Like can you tell us more about this look? Oh my God, yes. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, so, um, yep, I grew up with, you know, uh, f fairy tales and whatnot. A lot of my work lives in the land of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, and so this is kind of like a little Bo Peep, kind of kitty kitty bang bang homage. Um, and my hat is a hula hoop. Yes, and it's, yes, and I'm gonna, so, um, and it's two layers of spandex. Yeah, that's all hand sewn together with these little appliques tossed in here with this bad boy, held together with a clip. And then there's a little bow in the back. And then if you see this bad boy, if you see that, um, it's if you go to Michael's, <laughs> yes, uh-huh, you can find these like wire plant holders, right? And so I, I sew that into the hat and I put hooks on it. So it, like when I put it on, it just like hooks into the wefts of a wig. So the wefts are like what the tracks are, the wigs, right? So there's just hooks and it just hooks on my head. Um, yeah. Smart. Yeah, very technical. Creative, honey, that's yes. awesome. Thank you. You're very sweet. Sounds like three extra stops I couldn't make in my Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what's your name, sir? Damon. Hi, Damon. Uh, my question is for Utica. I'm a little buzzed now. <laughs> Honest, honesty is key. I'll be 51 at 12 o'clock tonight. Well, happy birthday to you. Daddy! Utica, when you go back, if they call you back for All Stars, what character would you play in the Snatch Game? But, but, but... Can I make a suggestion before you answer that? Uh, Eunice for Mama's family. Yes. That's what you're giving me. I, I or Carol Burnett. Oh, Carol. Same, yeah. So oh, actually, yeah, yeah. I, I could get Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> With the hot dog fingers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. I don't mean to cut you No, off. I love that. Jamie. Okay, so people have said, like, why didn't you do that originally? And so. I am a huge fan of Carol Burnett. Like, I literally cry when I see her shit. Um, I don't know, women in comedy, so powerful. Um, and that, that was, I have a bunch of her costumes. Like, someday I want to, like, be, like, the number one Carol Burnett impersonator. Like, 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 that's way off in the distance. And I've been, like, growing her costumes. Big fan. Anyway, um, but I didn't want to, like, I'm not the best at acting. I'm not, like... I look cool, but I'm not that cool. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, but I didn't want to like dishonor her in any regard, you know. So I was like, but I can do that with Bob Ross. <laughs> you know, it's like tit for tat. You know, like he eats paint, she doesn't type of. Um, no, but maybe um, I need to take an acting class. Um, uh, I'm pretty good at off the cuff, but. Um, when it's under pressure and RuPaul staring at you from above, um, it gets a little nerve wracking. Um, you, you guys say Snatch Game, yes? A as Unfortunately. Nerve yeah. Yes. Um, you mine, was really, tough. mine was the worst of all franchises. Oh, we five. don't really have a, um, we don't have an audience, so we don't know if we're funny or not. Um, huh? You were funny. Thank you. <laughs> you were funny. Unless, Legendary girl. Unless you, ju unless you just, unless Rue breaks character and you, that's how you know you're funny. Yeah. But I wasn't even paying attention to her. I was just like mm. in my zone and was just trying to, you know, yeah. just do the thing. But I, it is uh, like All Stars 3 was really hard for me because it was powerhouses left and right. I mean, I, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I just couldn't even like, I couldn't even tap in. Yeah. And I was so surprised I was safe. Cause I just could not tap in. You have, oh my God, it was, 
It was it was a moment, y'all. And we was up there for a while. She asked us a lot of questions. Yeah. And it just, you know, it was different from my time doing uh, Little Richard and doing Phaedra Parks. It was just, it was hard. I could tell you this, no one tapped in on my season. Uh, honestly, going through it, like Snatch Game in and of itself, I didn't think it was that intense, like while being there in the position. But um, looking back at it, <laughs> maybe I wasn't taking it as serious as I should have. <laughs> but I'm um, serious, bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very yes, serious. Ma'am. And I think um, my biggest fault was researching too much because I did the Hagrid woman um, called Betsy DeVos um, so horribly. Um, and I gave her justice in a way, which was kind of not what I wanted to do. Um, and I kind of wanted to show all her faults, which I didn't get to. And essentially what I would say, like any tip for Snatch Game is don't take like your character, like what you've been preparing and do it's just the, that. It's the total opposite. It's the, it's it's n- the opposite. You're not yeah. so, I mean, whatever is, you do the opposite of what they would do. Yes. That's what makes it funny. You can't be the same person. Like, it's like, oh, I went as Betsy DeVos. I was literally her. Nothing is funny that, oh. about that at all. She's a horrible, rancid person, and it's just meh. If you, like, you took I would have been her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go, if, if I ever go back, if, if they ever ask me, if I great. actually would love to do her again. To do her worst. Oh, they're not gonna, <laughs> they're not gonna let you be. Yes. Nobody's ever gone back into the same character. They Come told on, me let's no. Do it they, again. they told me no. You can't do Little Richard again. Ah, oh, that's fine. Well, you were I good. Was like, you were good. You you actually won the challenge. <laughs> I want to revamp her. I would good. actually go back. I would actually go back and do Tabitha Brown the right way. Oh. Yeah, because Olivia fucked it up. <laughs> She I was so oh, mad at her. I have oh, some yeah. tea about that whole thing if you'd like. Guys, like yeah. oh, so okay. Feel it, bitch. Okay, girl. Feel okay. So, um, we all have our experience Cheers. on Drag Race. Oh, wait, let's do the shot before you uh, spill oh, the tea. Okay, I have good. to pee so bad, but this outfit takes 20 minutes to get out. Okay, fierce work. Awesome. You better it. learn. Oh, girl, trust me. I'm Cheers. sucking in this tuck as tight as it can Cheers. go. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, all right then. Oh my God. Okay, tea time. <laughs> so on that episode, um, there was a bottom three. It was me, Olivia, and Elliot. Okay, so they shafted Elliot. She had some. She had a couple jokes that were quite funny. There was a mirror on the ceiling joke that the whole room paused, looked up, looked around, and just burst into laughter and they cut it they were like oh she's getting the bottom but I thought that I you know I did poorly I you know I did poorly but um I thought it was supposed to be Olivia and Elliot in the bottom right but then these tricky fucking bitches we were at the mirror and Denali and I were chatting and she's like so girl who do you think was in the bottom and I was like oh Olivia and I like we were we we're bad I, like I was giving Elliot her graces, but I, I, in hindsight, like watching it back, I was like, okay, they should have been the bottom. But I was like, oh, me and her. Then one of the producers comes up to us and was like, oh, what an interesting conversation. Um, can you guys repeat that like again and like the whole thing, like like do it again. And so we were like, all right. And so Olive, um, excuse me, um. Oh, fuck, I ruined the punchline. Denali. Um, Denali came up, uh, was like, all right, so Utica, who do you think was in the bottom? And I was like, oh, for sure, me and Olivia. We did horrible. Guess who's standing right behind us working on a mannequin with her outfit when all of us should have been painting? Olivia! <laughs> and Wait, I was like, Olivia how'd touched- you get there? Wait, Olivia worked on her own outfit? <laughs> Uh, she was just like, you know, standing there like, oh, I'm overhearing everything. And I was like, oh, this is all premeditated. And then she says like, oh, Utica, you can't say that to my face. And like, I would have been like, girl, you was awful. <laughs> and I, yeah. Awful. Yes. And me, I'm like, oh, what? Like, and I'm like, I could say it to your face. We both did horrible. Like, what are yeah. you going to do? And then, of course, they put... um us all three in the bottom, and then it was me and Elliot, and then I sent Elliot home. Woo! Um, 
You did that. Which was lovely, and I got to, like, you know, shake my ass a little bit. Um, but they will pull that shit on you. They will literally, like, someone will appear behind you. Those bitches. Party. Well... <laughs> Roscoe, did y'all enjoy our viewing party? Yes! Thank, Thank you. you guys so much for coming out. I know Thank this format God. was a little different, but hey, we're rolling with the punches. We're still here. We're still going to give you drag on Friday nights. YouTube, you get to tune into us. So thank you guys so much. Make some noise for yourselves tonight. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to stick around. We're going to be performing at yes. 1030, featuring all the divas up here. But let's give a round of applause for all the divas. Give it up one more time for Kennedy Davenport. Keep it going for Jasmine Kennedy. And give it up once again for Utica. Utica. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Batty Davis. I'm Caramel DeVille. Catch me on all social media and financial platforms at KMDeVille underscore official. And I just want to say happy 18th birthday to one of our YouTube viewers, Harry. Thank you so much for joining us and happy HBT birthday to you. Harry. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to stick around. We'll see you guys soon. Thank y'all. Ciao.